picked out of a hat first. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be here. It's great to be a candidate for this election coming up. Uh, it'll be very close here in Ryde. Um, look, this isn't my first rodeo. Uh, you know what I've been able to achieve in my time on council. I promised to save Eastwood Oval, we did that. I promised to upgrade parking in Eastwood, I did that. Um, we've achieved much on the council, but we're finding here in Ryde that a lot of the issues that are facing people each and every day uh, are because of poor state government planning, and particularly in terms of overdevelopment. Can I get a show of hands as to people who actually live in the seat of Ryde? Live in Ryde? Fantastic. So over the last eight years you've seen overdevelopment, rampant overdevelopment, and the pace of that overdevelopment has what has shocked us most. And uh, you know, I will give you four concrete policies that Labor is going to take to this state election, which will mean that overdevelopment will be stopped here in Ryde. Uh, these policies haven't been matched by the local uh, member, these pol policies haven't been matched by the Liberal Party. Nothing will change if they're re-elected. So the first thing we'll do is we'll abolish priority precincts. In 2014, the state government changed land zonings in Macquarie Park. And to give you one example, the Macquarie Centre had a maximum height limit of about 10 storeys. Uh, Victor Dominello and the state government changed that to 37 storeys. The council didn't say yes, the locals didn't say yes, yet they still went ahead and changed it. They did that at Herring Road and they put a priority precinct in North Ryde. A New South Wales Labor government will abolish priority precincts. Uh, we're going to rewrite housing targets. Only in March last year, uh, this state government set a housing target for the city of Ryde of 7,600 dwellings to be delivered in the next five years. Uh, Mossman has a housing target of 300. Hunters Hill has a housing target of 150. And before you say, oh, Hunters Hill's tiny, Hornsby has a housing target of 4,600, and that's a very large local government area. The North Shore, the eastern suburbs, they've been spared. Ryde has been targeted again and again and again. Labor will rewrite those housing targets. And right next door in Parramatta, a housing target of 21,000 units, 21,000 dwellings, uh, to be delivered in the next five years. We'll abolish the medium density housing code. The state government last year um, came up with this policy where they wanted blocks of flats in Ryde's quieter streets. For the first time ever, they changed the definition of medium density here in Ryde to allow uh, for manor houses. They want to reduce the size of the lot, um, uh, 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 permissibility for duplexes from 20 metres down to 12 metres at the building line. That is too much development, too quickly in the part of our city that our people love and why people move here. It's why I moved here, because in Ryde, you have the quiet streets and you have the areas of medium density. This government want to turn our quiet streets uh, into built-up areas and we will abolish that code. Uh, lastly, we'll shut, shut the developers back door. Uh, in 2013, the government created a process whereby if council said no to a planning proposal, uh, they could get approval by going around this back door to the Department of Planning, to the state government themselves, uh, and get, they can get approval that way, even if the council say no. Council's LEPs need to be strengthened. They need to be uh, the gold standard. They need to be uh, the last resort for developers. And if council say no, if your 12 or 15 local councillors say no, they live here, uh, they know the area, they say no, that should be it. There should not be a second chance for developers. These four policies in themselves have led to Ride being overdeveloped Overdevelopment is the disease, overcrowded schools is the symptoms, traffic and congestion is a symptom, uh, and our, our open space being overused is a symptom of that disease. How are we doing? Have I gone over the three minutes? Right. I've got a local family, I live here in Ryde, um, uh, I love this city, we love our local school, um, we love our neighbourhood, we love Eastwood, uh, and we don't want to see what makes this city fantastic change. And over the last eight years, it's changed very quickly and without the proper infrastructure to back it up. As I said earlier, enough, what will change if this government's re-elected? What policy will stop overdevelopment in Ryde? Uh, I put to you, the four that I've given you here tonight uh, will stop overdevelopment in Ryde, give power back to locals to make decisions, uh, and I'd ask you to vote for me on the 23rd of March.